It doesn't get much better than that, does it? It heals, it reduces inflammation, so it it's kind of getting to the root cause of the problem, and it lowers the pain. When you think of arthritis, what do you think of? Or maybe you experience it, maybe you know exactly what it's like. Inflammation, pain, joint stiffness, you know, immune system reactivity, heat, swelling. That's arthritis. Let's talk about how infrared, whether it's through an infrared sauna or just some kind of an infrared LED light that you're holding over your joints for a few minutes a day, how infrared benefits arthritis. First, let's talk about teeth. 2011, got a paper here in the European Archives of Pediat Pediatric Dentistry Journal. It's called The Effect of Low-Level Laser Light Therapy. Again, that's the same thing as infrared. That's how they're utilizing this, the lasers, they're setting them on infrared. The effect of low-level level laser light therapy on pain during dental tooth cavity preparation in children. This paper really caused a lot of waves, shock waves, in the dental research community and dentists around the world because, you know, they were looking at pain, and they're always looking for ways to decrease pain. Let's, let's be honest, nobody wants to go to the dentist. And so to evaluate this infrared treatment um, during cavity preparation, they found kids, they found 10 children with two cavities, one on each side, and they did the conventional treatment, but then they also did, the, on the other side of the mouth, the other side of the face, they used low-level laser light therapy. They shined essentially an infrared light, and they rated their pain. And the low-level laser light therapy decreased pain in these children when they were having their cavity, um, you know, repaired. And back then, 2011, they were calling it, they said, low-level laser therapy is also known as biostimulation. Now, by the way, it's starting to be called photobiomodulation, but, you know, a.k.a. infrared. But back then, for the most part, low-level laser light therapy, they said it was two millimeters from the tooth surface. That's how close they were shining this thing. They, were, they had the unit right up next to these people's mouth. Two minutes duration, and just in case you really want to know, 60 millijoules of energy, 20 hertz frequency power. So it decreased pain. That's the point. Let's bump into 2017. Let's jump into 2017, excuse me. Journal of Lasers in Medical Sciences Journal. Safety and effectiveness of low-level laser light therapy in patients with knee osteoarthritis. Boom, arthritis, a systematic review and meta-analysis. This is a review. How many papers did they look at? 823 studies they compared. That's how many papers have been published on knee arthritis and infrared therapy. <sighs> and guess what? It says its effectiveness is still controversial. Why? Because people think it's an infomercial. They're not taking this serious because nobody's talking about it. The doctors aren't promoting it. The doctors aren't being educated to promote this. But of all these studies, what do they find? There was a significant difference in low-level laser light therapy, infrared, compared to placebo. These are clinical trials, people. Difference in pain at rest, pain at activity, total pain, again with the pain, so it's decreasing pain just when people are just sitting there watching TV. It's decreasing pain when people are getting up to walk. It's decreasing pain at rest, total pain, function, stiffness. It's, it's beneficial. Let's be honest. Stop kidding ourselves. This meta-analysis um, lacked data on wavelength, energy density, treatment duration, number of sessions, site applications. So basically, there is definitely a problem in a lot of these studies with consistency between studies. And it's tricky because think about baking a, a loaf of bread. If you put it in an oven at 1,000 degrees for one minute, and, you know, or you put it in there for half an hour at 200 degrees, you know what I mean? You're going to get totally different results even, if, even though the total energy might have been the same. 
and a lot of people have struggled with this they're doing these jewels you know they're using jewels and just total energy mathematical equations and they're not factoring in how long the, these durations these infrared exposures are we need to work those kinks out but but it's beneficial we can't deny it we got to start incorporating it if you're a medical doctor utilize it talk about it try it out if you've got arthritis for sure try it out here's another paper 2017 this one's in the journal of lasers and surgery and medicine it's called anti nociceptive effects anti nociceptive that's basically like pain lowering effects of low level laser therapy at 3 and 8 joules per centimeter squared in the rat model of post operative pain they're doing surgery measuring pain possible role of endogenous opioids it's a long title a technical title opioids you know you're thinking of you know codeine fentanyl methadone you know these pain narcotics they're involved in binding opioid receptors pain killing drugs and that's what they're studying here and they introduced this paper by saying photobiomodulation we're finally using this term 2017 promotes tissue healing reduces inflammation and is analgesic reduces pain it doesn't get much better than that does it it heals it reduces inflammation so it caught it's kind of getting to the root cause of the problem and it lowers the pain how does it lower the pain they looked at they blocked you know they use drugs to block the nociceptors these these uh, opioid receptors um, you know and basically they, they compared the low-level laser therapy and that's how they said that primary low-level laser light therapy infrared primarily modulates the endogenous opioid system that means this opioids that your body creates not some drugs that you're taking not painkillers that you're taking it blocks those receptors naturally your own body's receptors so you don't have to get hooked on pain meds and you can utilize this it clearly is going to benefit your joints yeah maybe we don't know exactly you know how long you should be doing it you know how many times per week how many times per day that kind of thing but frankly figure it out for yourself it's not that difficult and get it you just have to be sure to get a good quality infrared LED and it definitely seems like it's not it, you know you want to get it really close to your skin we'll talk about that in the next episode because we're going to talk about brains and Alzheimer's disease and neurodegenerative diseases and how important it is to have that infrared right up next to the skull